<laughs> like, haven't you designed kind of a different approach for yourself offensively? Like 2017, you had 50 more walks than strikeouts. This year you have more strikeouts than walks, but hard hit rate, home run rate, pull rate, those are all at your all-time highs. It feels like it's all by design, is it? Yeah. Oh, no question about that. No question about that. You know, this is my natural skill set. Um, this is my natural skill set. When I was 18 years old, I showed up maybe two, three, four weeks late for, for the Gulf Coast League, which if people don't know is a, an abbreviated season. I think it's maybe 60 games, maybe more, maybe 90 games. And I missed, you know, 25% of the year, maybe a third of the year. And I led, led the league in, um, and this is coming from, you know, Canada where I was facing 75 mile an hour competition. I led the league in extra base hits. Uh, so I've always been able to hit the ball hard. I've always been able to drive the ball all, all over the field. It's something I, I've always enjoyed doing. But in the middle of my career, I, I thought, you know what? I want to be, I want to be the best. I want to be the very best hitter in baseball. Um, and I th look back on the all-time greats, and many of them walked a ton, uh, hit home runs, hit for power, hit for a high average, and I I, I wanted to do that. And now as I've gotten older and, and that, that style hasn't really been as easy as it used to be, I just went back to the original version of, of my game, just try to hit the ball as hard as possible, uh, time fastballs, check off of, of, of questionable pitches, react to hanging stuff, and just be aggressive up there. And, and I, I, I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my career simply because this is the original version of me, because it feels like home again. Um, you know, the middle of my career was, t was genuinely tough. Like men, I don't want to say mentally, cause that's, I don't, I don't want to get so dramatic here, but it was, it was challenging. It was very stressful for me physically. It took a toll on me. Um, my, my back and my knee were not to be able to make the move that I, I had to make in the middle of my career. It was very painful on a daily basis. And, um, now, uh, you know, that was that was the way by the way just just so you know that was the way i allowed the ball to travel um i could read and and decide and and decide on the pitch while also while also uh, being able to power the ball hit the ball hard um whereas now i just i just take hacks and um yeah, I, I i enjoy it i enjoy it well, so Joe, any, to go to go to your to go to your question 17 was very like my my most satisfying year it was my most satisfying year strikeouts went up my strikeouts went down my walks <laughs> continued to go up uh and usually strikeouts and walks go hand in hand mine didn't i can't tell you how proud i was of that season because it was everything that i wanted to do my power stayed stayed steady i played every single game all year i, I it's 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 it was my <laughs> it was i would just it was my you know, my, my piece de, de resistance. Um, I was very, very proud of that one. But um, now um, I can't do everything. And that's okay because I can do something that's, that's helpful for the club. So, well, Joey, is there any uh, validation that there's now metrics to match that original form of you, the hard hit exit velocity? How is that sort of framed? You know how you feel about how you're performing that, that you now now they're measuring these things that you talked about when you're 18 years old hard hit yeah exit velocity all the barrels percentage things like that no because it showed up in extra base hits as it usually does um when i was younger now it's just kind of a fun like video game to play you know to <laughs> chase and chase you know to chase shohei otani for most <laughs> highest barrel per percentage or or to you know to to i've got a kino on my team and he gives me a hard time uh that i can't hit the ball 118.3 like like <laughs> like he did a few years ago and then i told him oh that's nice you hit seven home runs in five games or excuse me, 15 games. I hit seven home runs in five games, you know, like <laughs> just, I, I, I really, um, I actually have a lot of fun with the stack cast stuff just because it's, it's just, it's been good to me in terms of like, it's, it's been good to me in terms of like having goals and then objectively being able to monitor, monitor them. 
You know, you said something to Dan Levitard last week that uh, caught my attention. You said that almost none of your favorite hitters to watch are in the 3,000 hit club. So I had to ask, who who are those favorite hitters? And my favorite hitters, I, 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 you know, I, I was, I would go home almost every day after every single game. And I did this actually in 20 and a little bit in 21, 2020 and 2021. Um, trying to copy um, some players. So when I was 18, 19, 20 years old, I would go back to the host family house or the hotel and watch um, Hel Todd Helton, Barry Bonds and Manny Ramirez. I'd watch every one of their bats each day and then go to sleep and let my brain process that. And um, I loved, I never, I was never able to watch any of the late, all the the old, older all time greats. But I would look at Ted Williams stack page, and I think, well, I'm going to walk 150 times and strike out 30 times, and I'm not knowing that the game is just completely different, right? You know, and 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 Stan Musial and Lou Gehrig, and of course Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, um, but um, I could most relate. And 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 want to be like a Helton, like a Bonds, like a Williams, um, and to and I mentioned players uh, watching videos in, in twenty and twenty one to kind of shift my style and remind my uh, you know uh, shift my style and, and and try to copy the great players of today, the Acunas, the Mike Trout's, the Mookie Betts. Um, boy, we've got some fun great players right now, and. Um, I, 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 David Ortiz, I watched a lot of his video. I actually spoke to him, but, um, um, trying to copy them and re remind myself, Hey dude, let, let the walks go. Let the strikeouts go. Let's start hitting the ball hard again. What are we doing? You have this. So.